So I'd like to raise a glass to Walter for all he's done for the Institute and all he's done for me personally. When Walter came to Aspen, he was both a splash of cold water and a breath of fresh air. He shined a light on just how deeply troubled the world is and can be, and he also taught me how to do something about it, starting with this drink. <laughs> this is a Sazerac. <laughs> and the Sazerac... Wait, wait, I'll, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Bill Goldring, stand up. The owner of Sazerac Liquors from Whoa. New Orleans, my dad. Way to go. This was not for you. I didn't know. So the Sazerac was invented during the Civil War when they had troubles, too. Yeah. And it was invented in uh, Walter's hometown of New Orleans. It's also the perfect metaphor for the world he's shown me. Here's the recipe I know you're all dying to know. Crush ice in a glass until it's lost all hope. <laughs> Mix with just enough abstinence that you start seeing things. <laughs> Age it with a fine cognac that's been around the block. Add sugar for sweetness, bitters for humility, and finish the whole thing with a thin peel of all the lemons that life throws at you. <laughs> Trust me, after a few Sazeracs, you'll forget the troubles of the world, too. <laughs> but one thing we will never forget is our dear friend Walter. Here's to Walter, a true Renaissance man and a true Renaissance friend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get the drink? This is a very good chocolate. It is. It's a good we like we love the Sazerac. <laughs> It's delicious. I, too, have a, a toast that I want to offer to you, Walter, and you know that I'm, and thanks to Denise, a great fan of the Sazerac as well. <laughs> you know, it was back in September that Linda and I were exchanging uh, emails talking about what might be the theme of the next Resnick Aspen Action Forum. Uh, and I sent her a note saying, what do you think about call, having the next Action Forum focus on something we call the Great Reset? And she wrote back and said, I think it's a great idea, but little did we know that when we selected that topic, Walter, that it would be a reset moment for the Aspen Institute itself. I was in Shanghai. Uh, I landed, uh, I think, uh, on a Saturday. And I had a, an email from Walter, kind of cryptic email from you. I don't know if you remember. And it said, uh, when you get a chance, call me. I'd like to talk. And I said, sure, uh, we're in different time zones. I'm not sure it's going to work right now. Let's figure out a time. Can we make it tomorrow? And he said, no, that's fine. There's no rush. And, but I do remember that um, I called you, Walter, and you said to me, Peter, I want to share some news that I've already shared with our chairman, Jim Crown, uh, and that's that I'm going to be leaving the Aspen Institute at the end of the year. It took my breath away. I had to sit down. I was sitting in my hotel room with the phone. Uh, and I said to him on the phone, and actually in several texts over the next few hours, you'll remember saying, Walter, don't do it. I mean, this is not a good time. I mean, we're just getting started here. Uh, and you know what he did? Um, he looked at me without blinking, and he said, <laughs> don't be afraid, Peter. You can do it. I came out of the formal part of the, my Henry Crown Fellowship program in the year 2000, and I was invited onto the Board of Trustees, and I think it was in 2002 or 2003, I'm not entirely sure. If I had to choose the image um, of the Aspen Institute before Walter, I think the best image I could come up with as I think about Walter was the closed door. The Institute was world-renowned for its very important gatherings that, was that were taking place behind closed doors. And a lot of important gatherings of all sorts, from some gatherings on national security to gatherings on education, from gatherings, yes, on leadership. If I had to sum up Walter's legacy, he arrived and he threw open the doors. The Ideas Festival, the Security Forum, Spotlight Health, the Resnick Aspen Action Forum, Sunlight, Walter said, Inclusion. 
He said, if we have good ideas, if we're doing truly important work, why are we keeping it so secret? And that was really Walter's idea. We need to throw open the doors of the Aspen Institute. We need to share what we're doing with the world. I joined Walter in my current role in 2004, uh, not without some trepidation, you'll remember. I was CEO of an organization called TechnoServe. I'd been running it for eight years. I'd been there for 17 years. And Walter, I think we met, it was a snowy day uh, in New York. I think he took me to the Harvard Club. He soon learned that I don't own a tie, and so he <laughs> stopped doing that. Um, but he told me he loved the idea of globalizing the Aspen Institute, and he'd seen something that I'd written a few months before, mm -hmm. and said, why don't you come and join me? And I told him, Walter, I'm a little nervous. I'm running something now. I don't know if I want to work for someone else. True. And um, he said, look, he looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he promised me his full support. He promised me a minimum of interference. And he promised me the last weekend of every April free so I could go with Denise to the Jazz Fest. <laughs> that was one of the things I had to negotiate when I came to the Aspen Institute the New Orleans Jazz Fest, for those of you who don't know that. I've never looked back. I spend a lot of time in China these days, and I read all sorts of things from China, thanks to our fellows who are here tonight. It was Lao Tzu that said, when the best leader's work is done, the people say we did it ourselves. Well, at the end of the day, I know in my heart of hearts that without Walter, none of what I or my team have done would have been possible because we did it precisely because of you, Walter. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Last thing, on behalf of the Aspen Global Leadership Network, Walter. We've put together this little book of photos. We've asked our fellows to all sign it for you. We're not done yet. Uh, so we're going to take it back from you afterwards. But I wanted to hand this to you and let you know that all of us wow. in the Aspen Global Leadership Network are so incredibly appreciative of you giving us this platform to do what we do in the world. Thank you. <laughs>